It's Friday, it's four weeks till Crimbo, it's cold, the nights are drawing in, it can only mean one thing. Seasonal affective disorder followed by Xanax abuse with a bit of solitary masturbation while watching Ann and Deck. Or is that just me? Oh well, Mum enjoyed it. Onwards! This week on Holy Moly Duncan, we spotted Sir Paul McCartney singing with Jerry Halliwell in London. Jerry Halliwell's mum was also there, talking to someone who used to be Kate Moss. Jesus love, drink some water. We interviewed crack mum from X Factor and asked her to give me a raging erection. No, I'll bend over and I'll see how much hairs I can pluck out me ass. That's one for the wank bank. The legendary Keith Chegwin told us how he feels about the recent drop in VAT rates. I'm pumped, that's even the exciting. And Akon talks about his floppy old fella. Oh, you're talking about the floppy ones? Yeah, the floppy ones. <laughs> yeah. Is that why you beat up Sheila's on stage, mate, eh? Hey? What? What? Whoa! What the shit in hell is that? Poppers? What are you trying to do to me? Next thing you know, I'll be taking my shirt off on TV, swearing unnecessarily, boning some ropey old bird for the Sunday papers, and moulding my chin into a craggy fanny. Man, what the F and hell is going on? <laughs> Oh, look, we're inside. It's too cold out there. I haven't got a jacket today. Um, we are talking about relationships. Love can be a temperamental beast. And so can relationships. They can be good. They can be bad. And they can be ugly. I do not think you could put a more disgusting image of David Guest in my mind. It's easier to have sex when the foreskin is off. It doesn't hurt as much. <laughs> I stand corrected. Now for celebrities, relationships aren't that easy. A high squeaky voice, flimsy wristed hand gestures, and an obsession with a 16 year old boy. Hmm, but enough about Louis Walsh. Diana Vickers is allegedly becoming a bit cozy with Owen Quigg, the Quigglet. The Quiggerette, the Quigorny Weaver. This is despite Diana already having a loving boyfriend waiting in the wings to be dumped when she wins the show. When questioned about a potential affair, her boyfriend Chris Jones said this. Diana and I are very close. I'm not threatened by her friendship with Ogwin, and I support her all the way. Yeah, I think Owen might be planning to go all the way with her too. Another couple in danger are Amy Winehouse and rotting human hat stand Blake Fielder Civil. Blake has apparently left Amy for model Sophie Shandor, prompting Amy to reveal that she was only with him for sex. The thought of those two having sex is probably the most disgusting image that can be placed into the human mind. It's easier to have sex when the foreskin is off. It doesn't hurt as much. <laughs> I stand corrected. Again. Now the big relationship scandal that everyone's talking about this week is Gordon Ramsay. Gordon has allegedly had a seven-year affair with a woman so vile, we're legally obliged to replace any photo of her with one of this dog. <coughs> now, obviously, this is a tough time for the Ramseys, particularly for Gordon's wife, Tana. Now, Tana, if you are watching, I want you to know that out of all the bad, there can be some good. Every cloud has a silver lining. And in this instance, it's a brand new Holy Moly t-shirt. Isn't it, Graham? Yes, that's right, Matt. This hilarious and topical t-shirt satirizes the alleged affair in the style of Gordon's recipes. It's a guaranteed fanny magnet, so buy one today! Affair aside, the most disturbing revelation to come from the story was Gordon's apparent love for poppers, which might explain this picture. But what are poppers? Where do they come from? Why do people take them? And more importantly, what would Jesus do? To answer all of those questions, apart from the last one, we called the drugs advisory team at Frank. Hoo-ha! What are poppers? Well, poppers um, is the name really for a drug called amyl nitrate that used to be used in medicine quite a bit because it, it increases the blood flow around the body. People say that sniffing poppers during sex can make their orgasms feel and last longer. And I know that gay men do say that it does help relax their anal sphincter muscles and also enhances erections. It's highly flammable. Not to be used in the kitchen then, really? I would say keep it away from naked flame. So what would be the side effects of long-term use? Let's say, for example, on and off over seven years. Um, probably nothing really in particular at all. Certain drugs can be baked into cakes or that sort of thing. Can you put amyl nitrate in any cuisine? 
Not at all, no, because and it's toxic to swallow. So you shouldn't do that whatsoever? Absolutely not. Thank you very much, Frank. Frank there, very, very useful. So I think we know a little bit more about amyl nitrate or poppers. Do be wary, don't put them in food, and if you do use them, beware, your bum hole may get a little bit slack. Hoo-ha! Oh, thanks, Matt. Join us throughout the week on holymoly.com and we promise not to rip poppers up your ass and have our wicked way with you. Unless you ask us really nicely. Well, as my dear Nan once said, wise men don't wank with sandpaper gloves. Stay tuned! <laughs>